friends, welcome back to Virtual Creme de la Creme Small Group Time. I'm Miss Carrie, and this is our friend Fanny. Fanny has had so much fun learning about our fantastic flyers this week. She joined me today so we can talk about butterflies. Of all the flyers that we learn about, I think the butterflies are the prettiest. But they are very complex and interesting creatures. This picture here shows us that butterflies go through a life cycle. That means they change from one thing to another and then another again. Now butterflies don't start off with big beautiful colored wings. They start off as eggs. Butterfly eggs are laid on milkweed leaves and they stay little and white for about a week. A little caterpillar pops out of the egg. Now caterpillars, just like people, start off very small, but they get bigger because they eat healthy, nutritious things. When, el when caterpillars are born, they eat the leaf that their egg was sitting on. But that's not enough. So they go down the stem of the leaf to the stick and they eat the leaves off that stick. And they eat and eat until they're so big that they know it's time to turn again, just like in our picture here. Now the chrysalis is about the same color as the leaf that it's hanging next to, so that it can protect itself from birds or other animals that might harm the butterfly that's being made inside. And when the chrysalis is all done, emerges the beautiful butterfly. And the beautiful butterfly does look different from its caterpillar form. It has wings, and the wings are different colors than the caterpillar. Can you guys see that our monarch caterpillar has three colors? and they are in a pattern. Kiss your brain if you saw the ABC pattern on our caterpillar. This caterpillar starts with dark brown, then light brown, and black. And it repeats dark brown, light brown, black. One, two, three colors in a repeating pattern is an ABC pattern. And butterfly, has its own pattern on its wings. Sometimes the colors on each wing will mirror each other, and sometimes it's the spots that are the same. But each butterfly, just like each child, is a little bit different. And that's how they know who their friends are, because they can tell by the pattern, just like you can tell by your hair color and your eye color, and how tall you are, or how short, I'm short. <laughs> but everyone is different, and every butterfly and caterpillar has their differences too. There are four changes that every butterfly goes through. They start off with eggs, and eggs hatch to become the caterpillar. The caterpillar spins itself into the chrysalis, and the chrysalis gives way to a beautiful butterfly. Friends, I hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies with me today. And with Fanny. Until next time, we'll see you later.